I let Asmodeus know what I did for work and how many children I have. I have two boys and I'm a single mom. As time went on, we would spend maybe two to three days a week together. We would just meet up for cute little quick lunch um, dates. Um, one afternoon we met up and we went to Fridays for lunch. And I paid for everything because I actually invited him to lunch. I don't remember what I was doing that day, but I was in the same area as him. And I was like, you wanna kill some time? Like, cause I knew that he was in between classes or he was just finishing class. And we met up and went to Fridays for lunch. It was nice. He actually took pictures of me from his phone, which made me feel like, oh my goodness, that's like, you know, like, that's nice. Like he didn't have a billion red flags going. Because typically when somebody's up to no good, they're not taking pictures with you. They're not taking pictures of you. You might not even be saved in their phone. And again, the reason why him having four children with four different women wasn't a huge major red flag to me was because he was also older than me. He was 43 and I was 35. And he only had two younger children and his teenagers well his one teenager was 19 and the other was 20 so i'm like you know what he's been here eight years longer than i have stuff happens like but what, what, what i'm gonna do okay like what am i gonna do and i overlooked that because of our compatibility based on the dating app in october i ended up having to get an emergency surgery done i'd have my gallbladder removed um the day that i went to the hospital we were supposed to be going on a date. We had a date scheduled. You may want to pause this to read all of the text messages, but these are all the text messages and photos exchanged for my nine day stay at Jefferson Hospital when I had my gallbladder removed. And some of them you can see the date up top, you can see all of the times, but this is every text message exchanged. There were phone calls, but my phone doesn't date back that far, so I could not include them. Following my surgery, every time Asmodeus was at the hospital with me, he would physically help me get out of bed and get to the bathroom to use the bathroom and get me back into bed. We were actually going to be spending the night together. We were going to actually just go stay somewhere at a hotel and then just like go out on the town in Cherry Hill. I wanted to go to Old City at a really cute uh, Italian restaurant that I knew of. I wanted to show it to him. But I ended up getting severely sick. I had got off work that morning and I was so sick that I had to go to the hospital. On my way to the hospital, I had my boys with me because I was that sick. I couldn't even take them to our babysitter. I wasn't gonna make it. I knew I was not going to make it. I was vomiting profusively and it was nothing but bile. And it was terrible, it was terrible. On my way to the hospital, I ended up having to pull over and vomit and an officer saw me and asked, was I okay? And I was just like, no, I'm not okay. So he called an ambulance and the ambulance came and took me and my children to the hospital. We went to Jefferson and he pulled my car to the side of the road. Once I got into the hospital, I was in the emergency room for all of six hours. In transport to the hospital, they said my blood pressure was 90 over 80, and that I was pulse oxing at 80. So they had to put me on oxygen. I thought I was dying. I shot um, Asmodeus a text message, and I was just like, we're gonna have to cancel for tonight because I'm in the hospital, and I'm really sick, and I don't know what it is yet. So he texted me, and he said, well, What's wrong? What happened? What hospital are you at? And I gave him all the information. Um, my babysitter ended up having to come to the hospital to get my boys because I was admitted. I had pancreatitis and they had scheduled me for surgery to have my gallbladder removed. I was sick as hell. Before I got to my room after they admitted me, in walks uh, Asmodeus. And he's just sitting in the chair and I was so happy to see him because the hospital sucks, no matter what. The hospital sucks, especially when you are in the level of pain that I was in and as sick as I was. And he came in and he sat down next to me and he was, you know, um, communicating between the nurses and the doctors for me. And I was just on the bed with my little bag vomiting, just vomiting my soul out. He stayed with me a few hours until I was placed in my room. 
and he checked on me and texted me throughout the night after he left and it definitely made the um it made that day easier for me at the end of all of it it made it easier for me seeing him walk in i have family that doesn't even care if i'm in the hospital on death's bed and they won't come for me so the fact that he showed up was such a green flag for me it was a really really big deal it was so sweet and because we had just met we weren't official we were just dating and he didn't have to do that you know so um it was the following day that I was told that my gallbladder needed to be removed. And they told me around 12 noon. I have never had surgery. I've never been put under anesthesia before. I was terrified. And I'm just like, what you're telling me is you gotta put me to sleep and take out one of my organs and I'll be unconscious. I was so paranoid that I literally had to start Googling like how many people die from gallbladder surgery. And they were like, we do one of these like every single day. You're gonna be fine. But for me, never having been put under, never having had a surgery in my life, this was nerve wracking. So um, I spoke with him and he comforted me and calmed me down and we scheduled for the next day because they wanted to do it in an hour. And I was like, I actually need time to process this because I'm a bit anxious. And we scheduled for the next day. Um, the next morning when I had my surgery, my sister came and Asmodeus was supposed to come but his class ran late but he did come he did eventually come to the hospital i didn't see him until after i was out of surgery but he came he showed up and he brought uno cards he got these new the, the newest uno cards if it's not the very newest one it's the one right before the very newest one these uno cards don't even belong to me these belong to asmodeus these are the exact cards he brought to the hospital and then after i was discharged he um brought them to my house and told me to keep them so anytime he came over we would play uno that was our game it was it was our game i could not eat anything all i could do was drink water and they had me hooked up to an IV pole and there were four different infusions going all at one time. It was very traumatizing and I will never forget the experience. And what really helped me through all of that was all of the constant communication and Asmodeus being really, really receptive, and he was very empathetic and compassionate. He was very, very supportive. Like, he had questions about what was going on, how I felt, what they were giving me. And during that stay, he came four to five times out of my nine day stay at the hospital. And when they finally lifted my, um, my diet restrictions, they gave me like mechanical soft. He came and he brought me in chocolate covered strawberries this is every single text message between my sister and myself in regards to asmodeus my sister met asmodeus at the hospital during my stay and they exchanged numbers so you can see some of the text messages she's mentioning how she spoke to asmodeus or reached out to asmodeus in regards to me these are the chocolate covered strawberries asmodeus bought for me and it was, it was like, a, you know, um, an edible arrangement of chocolate covered strawberries. And it was, the presentation was beautiful and it was so sweet. I appreciate little things, I do, because it's legitimately the thought. We just met. It was those little things that made everything. When he brought me those strawberries, by midnight, they had changed my diet again. I got to eat like two or three, but by midnight, they changed my diet again and they put me back on a clear liquid diet nothing but water all over again they created a hernia by accident when they did my surgery and they didn't know what it was at the time so I had to go get rushed down for a CT scan these are all the text messages between Asmodeus and my sister they began texting shortly after Asmodeus and I met they met each other at my hospital stay and after discharge they continued texting Whenever my sister was looking for me, it was very common that she and Asmodeus would have casual conversation.